Good morning, groovy citizens, and happy, satisfying Saturday to each and every one of you. I hope you all have been able to get up and get your day started. My day started early this morning, but it's been productive, and I still have quite a few things to do. I'm excited because I think I told you I'm working on a collaboration with a friend in terms of editing his book. And so we finally got the acknowledgement done and the front and back cover. So I will be working on that this weekend. I'm not gonna lie to say I'm gonna do it today because I, I may or may not make time to get to it because I do need to record my podcast for today. So that'll be out a little later on today as well as some other things that I need to work on. Now, having said that, before I jump into today's topic, you guys, now the sun is out. Don't let the sun fool you now. The sun is out, but as you can see, there's still snow on this bush and behind me, it's only 22 degrees outside. So it is cold. It's like the, the, the cold air touches your skin and it just, you feel like it's just freezing up instantly. Anywho, that's not what I was gonna tell you. Before I jump into today's video, I wanna show you all my new cup. Y'all look at this. And I love it because it, it, it's a 24 ounce cup and it keeps your cold drinks cold for 18 hours and your hot drinks cold, a uh, hot rather for six hours. So this is the label that I was reading from. So when I tell, right now I have Earl Grey tea in here. This is my second one today. Earlier this morning I had orange blossom, I think is what it's called, which is so delicious. But right now I'm gonna have me some Earl Grey and I'll just sip on that and enjoy it because I love me some tea. Now let's jump into today's topic. I have another inspirational story that I wanna share with you all. And I think you're gonna really love this one. Because this is gonna really make you think and it's called The Elephant and the Rope. The Elephant and the Rope. And as a man was passing the elephants, he suddenly stopped, confused by the fact that these huge creatures were being held by only a small rope tied to their front leg. Not even both legs, but one leg, mind you. No chains, no cages. It was obvious that the elephants could, at any time, break away from their bonds, but for some reason, they did not. He saw a trainer nearby and asked why these animals just stood there and made no attempt to get away. Well, the trainer said, when they are very young and much smaller, we use the same size rope to tie them. And at that age, it's enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never try to break free. The man was amazed. These animals could at any time break free from their bonds, but because they believed they couldn't, they were stuck right where they were. Like the elephants, how many of us go through life hanging on to a belief that we cannot do something simply because we failed out at it once before. And your takeaway is simply this, failure is part of learning. We should never give up the struggle in life. So I'll have that in the description box for you. But what I wanted to unpack real quick is the section where it says, like the elephants, how many of us go through life hanging on to a belief that we cannot do something simply because we failed at it once before? I don't know who needs to hear this, but I am sure, one thing's for certain, two things for sure. There's somebody watching this video right now and you're thinking, wow, she's on my street. How does she know my story? You know why? Because that's been all of us at some point in time in life. We failed at something. And so we just thought, you know what? I can't do this because I tried before and it didn't work. So maybe you tried starting a business and it didn't work. So you say, well, forget it. I'm not gonna try another one. Maybe you were married and your marriage didn't work. And so you say, you know what? I'm never getting, and I've actually talked to at least three people that I can think of off the top of my head that said they would never get married again because their marriage didn't work. 
maybe you tried the, the relationship thing that didn't work so you say nope i'm not getting into any more relationships i'm just going to stay single and just doing me nothing wrong with that maybe you tried being a parent maybe you were a parent at an early age and it just didn't work out well for you and you so now you're of age or you're much older you have a little more wisdom under you and you've met the right man or the right woman and they want children, but you say, no, you know what? I did the parent thing before, it just didn't work well for me. Doesn't matter what that thing is. All I'm saying to you is that just because you tried something before, don't allow the fact that it didn't work out to deter you from trying again. Because in this story, we actually have two things going on. We have that, Plus, let's go back to the very beginning where the trainer talks about how when the elephants are smaller and they're younger, they have a rope tied around their leg and it keeps them, it, it, their mindset says, I can't go any further than where I am because this rope is holding me here. And so that same thinking stays with them as they get older and they think, wow, you know what, I couldn't go any further than here with, with this rope when I was younger. And so now that I'm older, I still can't go any further. Not realizing that that elephant is so much stronger than that piece of rope. And, and at any moment, it could just take off and run away. But the mindset has been ingrained into that elephant to believe that it's limited as to how far it can go. And too many of us in life, we are, we, we're, we're the same way. Your mindset as you were growing up, somebody told you that you couldn't do something because of where you grew up. Somebody told you you would never be anything because of who your parents were, the neighborhood you lived in, the kind of grades you made in school who you know, the circles you run in, the list can go on and on and on, but, but that's been ingrained in you and you believe that you'll never be anything, you'll never do anything, you'll never amount to anything because of the things that you were told growing up, the beliefs that, that were instilled in you, you still have those same beliefs. But I stopped by today to tell you that you can do anything that you choose to do. You can do anything that you work hard at. You are not limited by somebody else's beliefs of what you can and cannot do because of your background or because of anything that your, your, uh, your, your, your family has done prior to you. Stop allowing other people's beliefs to limit you and determine what you can and cannot do in this life. And it, it's very sad for me. It's very sad when I talk to people who honestly think that they can't do much. I've had people say, well, Michelle, you know, I just barely made it out of I mean, uh, high school. So there's no way I could go on and do ABC XYZ, really? Well, that was high school. That has nothing to do with now. You can go and, and take courses. You can get your degree. Uh, you can get your certifications or whatever it is that you need to do that thing. But your limited belief and your ability to do anything more than what you're doing right now is keeping you right where you are. That's why some of you all are in the jobs that you're in because you don't believe that you can do anything else. You believe that all you are cut out to do is to be the janitor in the company as opposed to sitting behind the desk doing whatever it is that that company does. It's, it's all up here, it's a mindset. So if nothing else, I want you to start telling yourself that I am not my past and my past is not me. I can do anything that I work hard at. I will not allow anything or anyone to stand in my way. And I need you to say that, but I need you to say it with conviction. And preferably, I would prefer 
that you do it standing in front of a mirror. Because I want you to look yourself in the eye, in that mirror, and tell yourself that every single day that you wake up. Wake up every morning and after you thank God for waking you up, come on somebody, then you tell yourself, I am determined to be everything that God has called me to be. I can do anything that I put my mind to. I am more than a conqueror. I will not allow my past to keep me from moving ahead. And again, when you say those things, don't just say them because I'm telling you to do that. I want you to say it believing, excuse me, that you can in fact do anything that you put your mind to because you really can. So I don't want you to stop being like that elephant who is now, to, I don't know how many tons elephants weigh, but who is now grown up and bigger than the car that I'm, my truck that I'm sitting in probably. And I want you to not be like that elephant allowing that rope around its leg to keep it where it is. I want you to know that you have the strength, you have the power to, to do great things, to do big things, to do phenomenal things. And I want you to stop allowing the words that you heard from your family and your friends and even your teachers, probably your neighbors or, or somebody you were, you were dating and or married to. I want you to stop allowing their words to, to take up residence up here. Evict them. It's time to evict the negative thoughts and don't let what they told you. Okay, so what they told you, you'll never do anything. You know, what's, as I said that, you ever date somebody and you all break up and they have the gall. They have the gall to tell you, you'll never be anything without me. You'll never find better than me. Are you serious? I actually wanted to say something else, but I'm not going to say it. I will repent for thinking it, but I'm not going to say it. But... The, the gall of some people to think that you can't have better because you choose not to be with them. Yeah, well, you know what? Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I dated somebody that told me that I'll never be anything without him. And you know what I said? Then I guess I won't be anything because I'm not staying with you just because you say that I'll never be anything. It's a matter of your opinion. Now, what if I had believed that? And sadly, a lot of people stay in relationships because people tell them that and they go, wow, if I move on, I'll never be anything. Well, I guess I got to stay. Honey, let me tell you something. Move on. God always has better. God always has better. And as I told you all yesterday, people come into your life for three reasons. For a reason, a season, or a lifetime. That's the only three reasons why those people come into your life. And if they're not there for a lifetime, that they came for a reason because they came to show you something or they came for a season. Their time is up. It's time for them to go. But but getting back on track, I need you all to start believing in you. And this is why I tell you all often, it pains me when I have faith in you. I believe in you. And a lot of times you all don't believe in yourself. That pains me. I mean, it really does because it's sad. It really is sad. I think about Lisa Nicholson. I'm going to share this with you and then I'm going to leave you be. But Lisa Nicholson, I love, love, love her content. She's on Instagram. She's on YouTube. That's where I first discovered her. And she tells her story about writing down what she wanted to do and how, excuse me, how her teacher told her that she needed to get I forget a uh, I forgot what kind of job she told her she needed to get because she told her she wanted to be a motivator and a speaker and her teacher told her yeah you, you'll never cut it in that you need to just get you a regular job and you know go on with your life Steve Harvey I've talked about that before how he wanted to he knew early on he wanted to be a comedian his family told him he was never going to be uh, he was never going to to be successful at it, so he might as well do what has been done for generations in his family at that time, and that was to get a job working in the factory. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say it was General Motors, but get a job working in the factory. Do your time, retire, get your and collect your pension. And he said no. He he desired to do more than just that. 
So we have to stop allowing other people's thoughts and ideas to dictate how we live our lives. You have something great in you, but you've got to believe it and you've got to work towards it. Like I said, this is, I keep, I'm not gonna stop saying this, this is a new year. And what we're not gonna do is take that old baggage from 2023 and drag it into 2024. This is a new year, new year, new you. Keep telling yourself that. So this is the year to make those dreams and those goals come to pass because you've been dreaming about it. You've been thinking about it. You've been wanting it. You can feel it. Well, now is the time to make it happen. I don't know about you all, but I'm doing that for me. I'm doing that for me. So having said that, you all, that's all I wanted to do is just leave you with that story and, and kind of unpack it a little bit. Hopefully something I said resonates with you and helps you to become a better person, to go out there and stop limiting your beliefs and yourself by your past or even your surroundings because the best really is yet to come. Having said that, if you're new to watch my videos, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I do car conversations every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I also do a podcast on Saturdays as well. So all that information will be in the description box. Make sure you check that out and subscribe as well. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. You know I mission I don't get a chance to see you. Go out there, enjoy this beautiful day. Like I said, it is cold, it's 22 degrees, but the sun is out and it feels so good. So go out there, enjoy the rest of this day. Whatever you do, wherever you go, do so safely. Watch your environment and just be safe. And also keep in mind that, I don't know about any place else, but here in the DMV area, we do have some icy spots. My street looks good for the most part. I see the county came through and put down some more sand last night. So everything is looking good, but just be careful about where you go because there are some icy spots around. Like I said, just be safe and be careful because I love you all. And I want you to come back on Monday where I can motivate you again. Now, go out there. Did I say that already? I did. Go out there, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you all to the moon and back. You know the drill. You know the spill. There is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that you can do about it because I'm going to love you now, always, and forevermore. Thank you, and we'll talk again on Monday.